Hi folks, welcome to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary. And that's your truth, the real truth. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi folks, welcome back to Crisco's Corner from Fox Business. GOP lawyers warn against vaccine passports. Vaccine passports are unconstitutional, period. Representative Lauren Bobert tweeted. Here we go. First thing I thought of was, let's see if I get this right now. New election laws requiring ID to vote is racist because the Democrats think that non-white people are too stupid to get ID or don't know how to get on the internet or know where the local DMV is, wherever it is they have to get the ID. But they're all going to be able to get vaccine passports because, well, according to all the main slime media, people of color are more susceptible to COVID. They should be first. Oh, God, these guys are so bad. Now, here's a guy here, Retro Fitness CEO, is offering free memberships if you're vaccinated. They don't have a problem with that's fine. You're not, in other words, you can't go into Walmart or you can't go on my airline without your vaccination papers. That I got a problem with. But if you're saying you get a free membership if you're vaccinated, okay, that's fine. You're not, you're not discriminating against anybody. You're not taking anybody's rights away. Multiple Republican lawmakers have come out against the idea of digital vaccine passports that will allow private businesses to require customers' proof of vaccination. This is bad, 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 folks. This is 1984 stuff. President Biden's administration is poorly working on a way to standardize the process for allowing Americans to prove their vaccination status. New York State has already rolled out their own version of vaccine credentials. Some GOP lawmakers are wary of vaccine passports. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. Got a little horse here. Let me drink from my leftist tears mug. Thanks, Ben. Considering that Democrats want to require vaccine IDs for people to conduct their basic daily activities, now they have zero grounds to object to voter ID laws. House Minority Whip Steve Scalise, Republican Louisiana, told Fox News. Yeah, no kidding, Steve. I agree 100%. You're absolutely right. If under Democratic logic you need an ID to enter a grocery store, surely you wouldn't be an objection to showing an ID to legally vote. House Judiciary Committee Ranking Member Jim Jordan slammed the Biden administration for pursuing the idea of vaccine passports when the president doesn't seem to care about passports when it comes to illegal immigrants crossing the southern border. Yeah, where is it? A round of applause. You got that right, Jim. Actually, I didn't even think of that. You don't need a passport across into the country, but you need a passport to go buy a, buy a gallon of milk. Jesus. Representative Lauren Bort, Republican Colorado, that's the one that likes to wear the Glock, I think. I like her a lot. She's got a lot of, uh, she's got more balls than most men I know, and that's a compliment to her. Blasted the idea on Twitter as well as declaring the measure unconstitutional, period. Where you're saying, well, John, she's a brand new congressman. She's no constitutional effort. How would she know? Because the average person with any common sense knows BS when they see it and they don't need to be an expert. Representative Pete Sessions of Texas said in a statement of Fox that a vaccine passport would be a complete government overstep. Vaccine credentials will be complete government overstep. Individuals in America have a personal responsibility for their health, said Sessions. Implementing a vaccine passport runs the risk of undermining public trust and substantially limiting normal day-to-day activities. Now, say they started that tomorrow. I just got off a long, multi-week regiment of multiple vaccine or rabies shots. The rabies vaccine. I can't take the uh, vaccine, even if I wanted to, and I'm still debating, for at least three weeks, if not four. So what am I supposed to do? Send somebody in and do my grocery shopping for me? 
Freshman representative of Madison and Cawthorn in North Carolina is telling him then the idea of passports. The polls like the smack of 1940s Germany. Yeah, I agree. You must take every effort to keep America from becoming a show your paper society. You bet. Cawthorn told Fox News, the Constitution, our founding principles, decry this type of totalitarianism. I always have a problem with that. I have a problem with the concept, but I also have a problem with the word. America faces a dangerous future when its leader's ideology shares more commonalities with Leninism than liberalism, the North Carolina Republican added. Yeah. Multiple Democrat offices, including those of the House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, did not immediately respond to Fox News' request for comment on the vaccine reports. Oh. Uh, yeah, no kidding. It's almost as stupid as the uh, mileage tax that Secretary Buttigieg proposed. Jesus, how, how, how self-unaware are these morons? Really? Schumer and Pelosi. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Chuck Schumer, I heard uh, he called me the other day, Nancy, and he wants his balls back. If you could give it back to him, he would personally appreciate it. The Washington Post reported on Sunday that the Biden administration has been looking at ways to roll out a vaccine passport program nationwide as more businesses are gearing up to, to require a proof of vaccination to use their services. I don't think that's constitutional either. You say, well, John, it's a private business. They can do whatever they want. No, they can't do whatever they want. Well, they can't discriminate on race, gender. Well, there's over a thousand of those. So, God, how do you keep track of that? Race, sex, gender, height. Well, you can pick anything you want to. It's a private business. I don't want black people in my restaurant. Well, that's against the Civil Rights Act. So that's clearly. Supreme Court is going to be busy. It's going to be busy in the next year. And let's hope and let's pray that those guys buy and, and women grow a spine. Alito and Thomas seem to be the only two on the Supreme Court that got any guts. The White House did not comment on the vaccine passport program, pointed out the post to comments that coronavirus coordinator Jeff Zintz made on March 12th. Since said the White House role is to help ensure that any solutions in this area should be simple, free, open source, accessible to people, both digitally and on paper, and designed to start to protect people's privacy. Boy, that sounds like we need some voter ID there. Mr. Zitz, or whatever he pronounces his name is, Zentz, who the hell knows? All these new people, I can't keep track of them. But that's racist. They had a, one of my episodes had several black Georgia lawmakers sitting on the front steps of the state house, chained up the new Jim Crow, the new slavery. But you can get it open source and free. Hmm. How about an ID for each state? States have say over their elections individually as per the Constitution. These guys are such amazing hypocrites. It's so ridiculous. I think they float this stupidity out just to see how the American people will react, call it a trial balloon, if you will. My God, my God. I'll tell you, I was just uh, messaging my buddy Matt Hogue in Tennessee. Uh, those of you that should watch his, uh, his vlog, it's H-O-A-G. He's from Southern California, originally transplanted to Eastern Tennessee, him and his family. And he's a great guy. and He's got it figured out. I'm going to put a little bit at the end here. Uh, tonight, I happen to catch him live, him and his wife, Babs. And he gave me a little shout-out, so I'm going to put it on here. And I appreciate the shout-out, Matt. And I'm going to be visiting Tennessee in late April, maybe mid-May, and we're gonna, I'm going to stop by and see Matt and his family, and we'll do a video together, and it'll be fun. But that guy figured out what freedom is. That's why he lives in Tennessee and not Southern California. My God, these people are crazy. If Walmart decides or any local grocery store that I have to show proof that I was vaccinated to get in, they're going to lose my business. 
I'm going to have to find somewhere else to go. And I don't go to the Walmart that much anyway. It's just the point. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I, I'm telling you, you guys, uh, I voted for Biden because I, I, I hated Trump. Uh, he, he's a moron. He's an idiot. He's an egotist. He tweets too much. He hates women. He hates brown people. He hates black people. Uh, he's a racist. He's He doesn't care. And he's a rich elitist and blah, 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 blah. Okay. How's that saying go? Be careful what you wish for. You may well get it. So I'm going to give you quickly here a little. It's only a few seconds long, the video tonight where I uh, messaged Matt Hogue and his wife Babs when they did their live stream. He's a great guy, and she's great too, the wife. And Dave, they're, they're really cool people, and, and I'm going to show it here. So uh, let's show that. Um, John, John, we're doing a video too. This guy, John, you guys, y'all need to go follow John's uh, podcast because it's a great one. He's up in New York. Uh, stumbled upon his podcast randomly. Um, he did a podcast on us. And it was, it was just, it caught me off guard. I was like, uh-oh, like somebody did a podcast on us? Like, what is he, what did we do? Or like, are we being canceled? I mean, whatever, you know, like... You're gonna be canceled one day. You'll be canceled. But John had nothing but nice things to say, and I was absolutely, I was, I was flattered by it all. So, so there you have it. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Babs, for the shout out. I appreciate it. And we'll be seeing each other very soon. Hopefully, the next month and a half, two months, go down there to Tennessee, or I might eventually live in Central Tennessee in Crossville. A friend of mine lives there, and I can go there tomorrow if I want to. It's sad that I have to leave where I grew up, but sometimes you do what you have to do. Thanks again, Matt. And as I always say on my videos, and until next time, goodbye and good luck.